Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're giving the T7 combat car a try, as I previously stated in the last video. And this thing, I did a little bit of research about it online, just very briefly Google, Im Google imaged? Google imaged, yeah, well, Google imaged it. And what I discovered very quickly was these things are not just rollers like you see in every other tank. You see how these are, they're more or less, this is, this is a bad comparison. I'm going to get flamed for saying this by you guys, but they're more like train wheels. <laughs> you guys are going to hate me for saying that. You're going to be like, no, they're completely different. They're both on tracks, but a train has a different kind of track. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. In a way, it's kind of similar, though, you have to admit. But anyway, uh, so the combat car, it's actually got wheels, wheels, wheels. So you can take the track off and run it without the track, and it'll work fine. I imagine it gets more traction when it has the track on there, but hey, whatever floats your boat or drives your tank. Uh, so let's give this thing a go. Uh, very briefly, Tier 2, so we have to consider what it has for Tier 2 values. Um, armor looks like nothing special, although I don't know if there is a tank with super special armor at Tier 2, is there? Maybe, I don't know. I've heard this gun on it is a really fast firing gun, and I believe it, 116.5. Uh, rounds per minute that's that's a lot that's like that's pretty close to one or to two every second uh, that's that's insane shell damage is only six to ten for each one and shell penetration is only 17 to 28 I, I don't know is that good it's more than we have armor more than this thing has armor what's more than the what's this have for armor it's more than this has for armor it's probably enough to hurt a t71 <laughs> At least in the back, I'm sure. Uh, but other than that, I don't really know. <laughs> this Renault has more armor than the T7 combat car. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Anyway, let's give it a go. We'll see how this goes. Uh, because it's a premium-ish type vehicle, <laughs> There is only one option for guns and engines and whatnot, so it comes fully upgraded, essentially. Um, here's a change in 8.9 that I don't really like. You see how it says to the left side of uh, my reticle there, in the big red and black lettering, numbering, whatever, how long there is to reload, and after after the battle after starts, you'll see that. After the battle actually starts, you'll see that timer count down between reloads I don't know if I like how obvious that is now. It's like, oh, everything is all clear around you. Then there's a big number floating there. Before, I don't think it had the big black outline on it, did it? Regardless, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, we have a 30 second reload for this thing. This might be interesting. Lots of T7 combat cars in this, though. Let's see if we can do this. I don't like how much space that takes up, but we'll go with it for now. I wonder if people like the T7 combat cars. I've heard mixed feelings personally, but I've only heard about it from like two people, so... The tracks look like they go pretty far back compared to the rest of the tank. I wonder if that was something they did intentionally when they designed it. I mean, when I say they, I mean the developers of the original tank in the 1900s there. I imagine it was probably developed in 1920 or 30 or something, I don't know. I'm just guessing. I don't know anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I wonder if that's there so it can climb hills better, you know, not roll over on itself. Get more traction because there's more surface area, more track touching the ground at once. Or if that's just the way they had to do it because of the track had to be a certain size for first. Does that make sense? The track has to be a certain size to fit the tank. Even though the tank... Could maybe, maybe they wanted... Oh, hi. Maybe they wanted the tank to be able to use the track from another kind of tank, so they didn't have to ship in two different kinds of tracks for two different kinds of tanks. They could use the same tank, the same tracks for two tanks. I don't know. I don't know. This, these are all theories, and I feel dumb saying them. Uh, <laughs> hello, other T7 combat car. Oh yeah, this is a machine gun. We're going to keep firing rounds in that direction, though. I thought we killed it for a second. And now we have our long reload. This could really get us killed. 
at this tier. Look at he, the M2 is just bouncing shots galore. I don't really want to go in there yet because, well, reload times. Wonder how much damage I can do in one clip. Let's move in. I think we're safe now. I think this guy's the only guy left up here. Oh, uh, did I say we were safe? I meant he's only gonna shoot us 18 times in the next second. Okay, we're gonna foolishly peek over the hill. Probably a really bad idea. But we're gonna get him. We got him. Now we're reloading. Oh, we're gonna run down there? This seems really dumb, especially since I'm reloading. It's okay, I'll follow the tier two. <laughs> trouble over there. I'm going to try to pick up the flank uh, and come up behind these guys. I'm scared of that T-18. I'm pretty sure he has a nasty gun. This thing is so slow too. And even going downhill it's sluggish. For a tank of this size you'd expect it's faster. Oh, hi. Stop shooting at me, please. I don't want to be shot. I feel like I bounced a fair amount of shells though when that other T-7 is opening up on me. I'm trying to look at all the ricochet marks now, and I see a couple ricochets, a couple penetrations. I think it's just because it's a bad-ish gun. Hi. You want to fight? He has an autoloader too. I knew that as soon as I saw him. I'm like, you know what? Those things. They have the th like a three or four round burst or something like that. I forget now. Hmm. Well, we got him down to half health at least. <laughs> Maybe if uh, my turret was faster like I was expecting there. And I basically, I made a mistake. Cat, what are you doing? That, uh, don't mind the cats making noise. Maybe if my turret was already facing in that in his direction when I peeked around that corner that first time, then I might have had enough time to pick him off before he killed me. But that was not the case. Uh, oh, look, you can actually see the rest of the minimap now. That's one thing about the low tier that sucks, is you can't see most of the minimap from any part of the map because your view range is just so low, or your signal range, I guess, would, would is what it would be. Cat, what are you doing? There's a, a like, a, you know those shopping bags that you get? Those reusable ones? There's one of those laying on the floor on the side of the room with stuff in it, because we're getting ready to move, and... What the cats have been doing is just crawling around in it and laying on top of it and playing with it. Yeah, it's the noisiest material you'd ever you've ever heard. Now there's a second cat over there. I just scared the other one away briefly. <laughs> and now the other ones came here. And this cat's really bad with anything any bags with straps. You know, shopping bags they have the they have the handles, the handle holes. This one likes to run around the house and get its head stuck in those holes, and then when it realizes it's stuck and can't get out. It's like, oh, I better run because I'm scared. I better run away from this. Meanwhile, it's dragging it down the hall with it. It's tripping over it. And then it finally gets caught on something. Cat gets violently stopped. And it's like, cat, jeez. That could have done some serious damage to you. That could have broke your neck. Running into something. Getting stopped instantly by your neck. You gotta be careful. <laughs> uh, just another day in the life with cats. <laughs> I wonder if this combat car can take on the E6. Is that the same guy that killed me? The guy in their team with the longest name. You got the T14 or T18 to your side there. He missed, but he's gonna do some real damage. There goes your gun. Look how fast that reload that repair time is. What if that's because he has the skill trained? Which I doubt seeing how you haven't had the combat cars for too long. Or if it's just because it's a lower tier, it doesn't take forever to repair. So I don't have the repair skill trained on my uh T-57 earlier today, I lost my turret in a battle. It took me so long to recover it. Look at this guy just taking all the rounds. Why are you shooting when you're not even close? Ah. Oh well. He tried. <laughs> he took a lot of hits. Ooh, we got stuff. Sharpshooter. Master Gunner. Not bad for the first battle in that tank ever. <laughs> uh, track. Commander, track. Okay, so we shot two T7 combat cars and the T1 E E6. Oh, I don't have the repair skill set up on this thing yet, or the repair uh, auto repair thing. Made ten grand. 
Really? We spent nothing? Oh wait, that's what's not auto repairing. Ah, I see. Ah, it looks pretty beautiful. Yeah, that was, I think it's still good. We can go use it again, right? No, no, no. <laughs> so we'll do this. This is why it didn't give me a repair cost. Holy, it holds over, it holds 1,100 rounds? Man. How much do those 1,100 rounds cost? Well, I wish, I know this is, we didn't use the whole 1,100, so it's not re refilling the whole 1,100, but I wish I could top up my ammo for 113 credits after a battle in the, in the higher tiers. Normally it costs me like 20 grand at least, 20,000 credits. Let's repair this vehicle. And good as new. So hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I did a pathetic job. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.